people in the emergency corps are overworked. Their equipment constantly breaks down. In fact, just last week, we showed you how the 911 phone system is often forced to leave people with emergencies on hold. Tonight, our Vic Miles looks at the ambulance corps in need of emergency care. It's the fourth call in an hour and a half for Queens EMS Unit 42 Charlie. There's been a shooting in Rockaway, man down. But I'm looks like it may have been the greatest one. I heard five shots, and then I looked out the door of my store across the street, and I seen the guy getting up off the ground trying to run. And then he fell. They helped him over here. Regardless of how it looks, this man's lucky on two counts. The bullet just grazed his head, and he's getting expert care from some of the city's 1,100 emergency medical service technicians when he needs it most. You're helping people. You, you're, you're there during their crisis situation, and you're helping people. It's a well-oiled professional group of people. But don't be misled. There are critical problems with New York's ambulance corps. Just ask the people who work there. Literally dying. Literally dying. It's a shame. Waiting for an ambulance an hour, two hours. For what? For something that could be done within 10 minutes. We're an emergency service, or we're trying to become an emergency service, but we are not staffed, and we are not, we do not have enough units to qualify as one. Well, they've pretended to be one for just too many years, and now it's just finally collapsing. Complaints are not confined to a small group of malcontents. Bitterness over working conditions is so widespread that it daily forces some of the most experienced medical techs to seek work elsewhere. Fortunately, I was called for New York City Police Department, and they offer much better benefits for, for me to take, and I can't see no other way to go. So you're going to leave? Oh, if I have no choice. Rookie police make $12,000 more than first-year medical experts. And that's just the beginning. According to the rank and file, several key problems contribute to the breakdown in emergency medical service. Too few and poorly maintained ambulances that commonly break down. The city's call for the right to per diems. Part-time help the union claims is not trained and not up to date. A maximum of 12 paid sick days a year for a job that routinely involves handling sick people. It's all led to what the union's calling a devastating attrition and morale problem. We have a pathetic situation here. It's plain and simple, it's a pathetic situation. Experience is just simply going through the doors here. EMS needs more, more equipment and more people to man it. The people say they want parity with other civil employees. They want pensions and a future. And some of the equipment needs replacing badly. Well, um, unfortunately, the vehicle overheated. Uh... Yeah, on the way to the shooting, the city's ambulance broke down. These men call equipment breakdown a common occurrence. And this is what it means to you. If we were the only vehicle that was available in the area, we wouldn't be able to transport this patient. An ambulance out of service means more time in agony. Mm. Ready on three. One, two, three. Coming up. City patients often get hung up in a 70-call-per-hour backlog. Citywide, there are some 3,000 calls every day for all kinds of medical emergencies. If you ask me, are people dying? People have died, will continue to die, because the attrition problem here equals death. It's as simple as that. When I got hit by a car the other day, he cared for me, and he was worried about me. And I just got to say that I hope they take care of him and fix him. The city has promised EMS 200 more units over the next year. 13 are here now. But the Emergency Corps calls that a band-aid on the major hemorrhage of attrition through desertion. Men leaving the service for better money, opportunity, and retirement elsewhere. Another big problem, the workers feel they should have their own commissioner, like the police, fire, and sanit men, to be able to bargain on their own instead of through other city agencies. They want to become the fourth city uniform service. Yeah. So what's the likelihood any of that might happen, Vic? that they had their own representation. Not good right now. They're mm -hmm. still fighting for it. They've been, it's not a news story. They've been at it for a couple mm -hmm. of years, and they can't get anywhere with can't it. Can't get anywhere.